There we go. Tonight I'm making my famous pot roast. I'll show you how to do it. First, you open the crock pot. Thank you, assistant. Then you fill it up with about, is this washed? Yeah. Half a pitcher of water. Oh no, I'm sorry, a pitcher of water. You want to fill the crock pot about halfway up. I should have had all this prep. Ooh, smell that rosemary I just picked. All right, put it in and you take a primo cut pot roast. Check that out. Got it on sale for 10 bucks at Food Line. Will you open that, Chris, and drop it in the water? There you go, just about like that. Perfect. And I have a rosemary plant, so I take a nice chunk of rosemary, plop it in. And to me, <laughs> house frau, this is like what really makes it your Turkish bay leaves. And I put, since that's a rather large pot roast, I'll put four in. One, two, three, four. That guy still falls. Yeah, it'll be all right. Gently so you don't splash. And after the. Here, you film me now. Oh, he's got to wash his hands. You definitely wash your hands. After the rosemary and yeah, bay leaf, mm, then we're going to put a little bit of. Thank you. A little bit of ground sage. Shake, shake. Then we have fresh garlic with roots coming out of it and fresh pepper fresh ground pepper you want to use that for everything fresh ground pepper is the bomb isn't it Chris yeah yeah all right then you take your garlic and guess what we got a new Christmas present well Chris did one of his stocking stuffers where is it baby I haven't seen that in a while did you look in this drawer? Hello, Lucy. Well, I guess you don't use the wicked cool new present. How did that disappear? I don't know. Well, we got a garlic press for Christmas, but apparently it's gone. All right, so that's fine. So we just chop up the fresh garlic. Would you like to come see? And I take it. You gotta have fresh garlic. Fresh garlic's the bomb, though. Take the heart out. Who's cooking? Me! I'm just directing you do this, and then that, and there. <laughs> anyway, so you chop up your garlic. I saw. And I use three big old cloves. Anyway, and then you put it on and put it on high and you leave it on overnight on high and then in the morning it's tender. Then you take a giant onion or a couple of small medium onions and fresh potatoes and fill it up with that and then let it cook on um, like either high or medium for a couple of hours until the potatoes are done. And that's some delicious pot roast. That's it.